I want to begin by asking you about your latest book, Lamar's Dead Terrace. Oh, yeah. Latest book. Can you tell us about your latest book, Ölerdiyan in Turkish? I don't know the title in English or in Turkish. Uh, in French, it's La Terre des Morts. Okay. So this book is, uh, you know, for me, uh, detective stories are always a kind of travel, a trip inside the country or inside the little world, special world. And this time I choose uh, the porn world, striptease world. And uh, I like this idea that a murderer uh, hunt in this sleazy world. But it's just the starting of the book. After that, we are talking about painting, we are talking about uh, many things else. But uh, at the beginning, I have always an idea of this little world I want to describe. And I have also the, the idea of the end. The end is the most important in the crime stories. You have to know who killed and why. And after that, you write your book upside down. You know what I mean? You go back to the starting and to this world. In, the, in this book, it's, uh, it starts in this striptease, striptease world. We call it also uh, burlesque, new burlesque now. So everything uh, happened in Paris. Uh, it takes a long time for me to talk about Paris because the most difficult is to talk about you know very well. You know, I talk about Africa, I talk about Asia, I talk about uh, many, many countries. But Paris, I come from Paris, I know so well Paris. You have to be really, you need experience to write, to describe what you know very well. So this time I try to describe Paris. And another question I want to ask, in all of your books there's a lot of twists, a lot of intricate characters and a lot of depth in this story. So what I want to learn is how, how does your writing process work? How do you design a story? I told you, my, when I think I have an idea of a book. It means I know how this book will end. The most important in crime stories is the end. When I have this end, I can try to create many events, many characters around this killer and this end. The moment when we, we will understand who kill and why. This is the most important. And uh, well, it's like a game for a crime stories writer because you play with your reader. You create, uh, you know, many tracks, but of course they are not the right tracks. And at the end, you you finally you say who killed. But uh, this is the most difficult, you know, because at the beginning of the book, if you if your uh, main character, your hero, uh, uh, think he found the killer, of course you know it's not, because this is the beginning of the book. So the most difficult is to find a uh, false strike, but you have to believe in it. This is the most difficult, because of course my readers read many, many crime stories, so they know how you do, you know. So this is the most difficult to catch them and to make them believe what you say. So you had some book signing days in Turkey and I understand as I was told there has been huge lines. So are you surprised that there are so many fans of you in Turkey? I am very very surprised by all these signs in Turkey, and honestly, I don't have any explanation. <laughs> but I am very, very happy. And of course, I think Turkish people are very clever because they like my book and they understand my book. And what I noticed, I was very surprised, they are, my readers are very young. 
much, much younger than in France. And I was really happy about that because it means uh, your young generation likes my book. And for me, it's really nice to, to find out this because uh, unfortunately in France now reading starts to be an uh, old people occupation, you know. But it's not my feeling in, in Turkey. Many, many young people uh, uh, read in my book. <laughs> okay, so when I look at your books, when I read them, I feel like there's a lot of research that goes into them, like in Flight of the Sparks in English. There was a lot of details about how the birds move, how they immigrate and all, which seems like something that would take research. And in the book, which was taught a lot, Empire of the Wolves, you had a lot of knowledge about the science, about the nationalist ideology. How much research do you put into a, word, uh, into a book? On, on the whole work about the book, I would say the research is maybe 30% or 40%, but it depends also the subject of the book. For instance, for Empire of Wolves, of course, I have really, really to dig information because I didn't know nothing about this. And it was very interesting. And I came several times in Turkey to interview the journalists, experts, many people who know very well this uh, topic. But now, for instance, for my last book, I made researches, but less. Uh, at the beginning, in my uh, first book, because before I was journalist, uh, I kept working like a journalist, you know, I was still journalist, so I make a lot of research. Now, if I want to be sincere, I stay in my place. And you know, world changed totally. Now you have internet, you can get so many information. Uh, be behind your, your computer, it's very different. When I start to be journalist, you have to go everywhere when you want to catch information. So it, it was different. Now I have to say I have kids, I have family, so I have much less reporter. <laughs> okay, so I, I want to ask something else about Empire of the Walls, which it was a book that was read a lot in Turkey and people had opposite views about it. The people who are more fiction writers or journalists said it's a fiction book, the writer can write anything he wants and he doesn't say this is a perfect reflection of the ideology. On the other hand, we had some people from nationalist view and some na even nationalist politicians who said that this is an unfair representation of the nationalist ideology or the Ikuja ideology in Turkish. There was even a prominent national politician who wrote a column about it. What do you think about it when you hear these comments? I think that I can really understand people when your book it's about something it's really important for them. I can imagine that they want to read something that looks true. But the truth is, for a fiction book, you can do whatever you want. The problem is not to reflect the reality, the problem is to write a good book. And uh, it's completely other topic, but you know, this example of the last movie, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, you know this movie about Freddie Mercury and the, the Bound Queen. Many people said, ah, it was not really like that, it didn't happen like that. Who cares? The main things, important things, is to make a nice movie that reflect Freddie Mercury, the personal problem he had, you know what I mean. And this is the goal, the helm, and you can manage with element to 
express what you want to express. So me, Empower of the Wolf, was not at all, and I won't, wouldn't say that I want to make a very serious investigation about this problem. I'm not Turkish. I just came uh, several times to get my information. You know, you have to be very, very modest. But I've tried to make a good crime stories. <laughs> That's it. But you, you have to think oh, always some part of your book, it's true, but the main part is completely fictional. You know, I, I use with uh, realistic details, but I take these realistic details. It's not to, to be, uh, you know, the witness of reality, to, to give a testimony, not at all. It's to make my fictional story true. I want my readers believe in my story. So when you put some real details, they say, ah, yes, this is true. So maybe the following is true too. <laughs> okay, so as one of the most well-known names of the thrill genre in the latest times, who are some of your inspirations? Who inspired you to write? And what do you read nowadays? I told many times this story, you know, uh, I went to the university, I studied uh, the very, very classical uh, writers, especially French writers, and at this time I didn't read at all uh, crime stories, detective stories, never. I thought it was very, very low literature, you know. But when I start to be journalist, when I start uh, to travel a lot, I was always in a uh, flight. My uh, partner, the photographer, read a lot of detective stories. So I start to borrow some detective stories. And suddenly I find out that it was very, very good literature. Very, very well written and very strong. You know, at this moment, I never read this kind of book, but I love the um, movies about cop, uh, thrillers, this kind of thing. And suddenly I, I found out that some books uh, succeed to give you the same feelings. Right away, I understood that I want to write this kind of book. And at this moment, I read all the master of the crime stories. And in my memory, uh, the one I, I love the most is maybe all time is Chandler. Uh, in the 60s in France, there is someone called uh, Sébastien Japrizo, very, very good writer. Uh, in 1780s, there is uh, James Elroy, super good uh, writer. And uh, is less well known, uh, Martin Crew Smith, the guy who wrote uh, Gorgie Park. This writers for me are as best as, as good as well than uh, you know the literature writer everybody talk about for me James Ellis is one of the best writer not detective stories writer writer in the world sincerely okay so I understand you happened to Turkey before as you said so now it's 2019 what differences do you see? How much do you think it has changed or how different it is? Oh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just arrived yesterday. But it's interesting because, because before I was in Cappadocia, and in Cappadocia it's so amazing landscape. I love this uh, region of Turkey, but it's still wild. You know, uh, we, we cross with the car uh, in mountains and we, we, me we met some shepherds with many sheep. You were really, really in the old Turkey. But when I arrived in Istanbul, suddenly it was like a Western city. Very, you know, a kind of city I can get out to have a drink, uh, to go to club. I think it, it's becoming very Western uh, Istanbul. <laughs> This is my feeling. So, one of my last questions is, are you working on any projects right now? What can we wait in the future from you? Uh, I wrote last year a TV show uh, 
from my uh, book Crimson Rivers, I took the main character, the commissaire Niemans, and I imagined four stories with him. He made the investigation of these four stories. We made the TV show and uh, he, he's been released in France. It was a big, big success. And finally, I decided to write book from these four stories. So I finished one, one of it, one of them, sorry. And he, he is going to be published next week in France. It's called La Dernière Chasse. And I'm writing the second one. And I, I want to write four books with the Commissaire Niemans. So many times I repeat that I don't want, you know, always the same character in my book. But suddenly I change completely <laughs> my position. And it's okay. I, I like to. To, to use this man, this same character in every book. It, it's quite, uh, you know, it's like a friend. You, 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 you meet your friend. Ah, commissaire. Okay, let's go in a new book. Okay, so that's all of our questions. I would like to thank you so much. Thank you. For answering our questions and have fun in Istanbul. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.